<clears throat> Alright ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the studio, and I'm here to talk about some NFL news. So we're going to talk about Jim Harbaugh from last night. We're just going to get through all the news here. My name is Schaefer. We have some breaking news here as I'm speaking. Uh, the Falcons have planned to hire Rams defensive coordinator Raheem Morris as their next head coach per sources. And then a follow-up tweet from Shafter. Raheem Morris was the, Fal was the Falcons' interim head coach in 2020. He now becomes their full-time head coach in 2023. So they looks like they bailed on Bill Belichick. They decided to hire Raheem Morris. And I, I don't know about this move here uh, for the Atlanta Falcons. I, I don't like this move. I don't know. I just don't know about this. Like, how do you hire Raheem Morris? Over Belichick or Bob, what's his name, Bobby Slowick? Maybe he is ready to be head coach, but I think this is a better candidate than Raheem Morris. I don't think this is a good move here. Because your defense is already good. You need an offensive minded head coach. Which, if it's not Belichick, then go, after, then go get Bobby Slowick. If you want an offensive minded guy, these defensive minded guys just aren't working out on, uh, in uh, this modern game of football. You need a player, a young coach, that, uh, off or an offensive, an offensive minded young head coach, or a former player. And that's just the formula. And Arthur Blank, once again, going with a heavily defensive minded coach, despite Lee proving only offensive minded coaches succeed nowadays. All because he just he decided to hire Arthur Smith and a completely outdated offense. Arthur Blank has no idea what he is doing. Another defensive-minded head coach. And like I'm saying, the league provided proving only offensive-minded head coaches succeed nowadays. You have to have an offensive-minded head coach. There's the, there's a defensive coordinator for a reason. I mean, what are the Falcons doing? I thought. Belichick was going here, but turns out not that Raheem Morris has just been hired by the Atlanta Falcons. I really thought Bill Belichick was getting that job. I really did. I, I, I had no... I did not think Raheem Morris would get this job. Where's Bill Belichick going to go? I don't know. I mean, is, is there really any openings? Like, is Seattle the only opening left? That's the only really opening left. I mean, Seahawks. But, uh, nothing like a defensive head coach for Kyle Pitts, Drake Lynn, Bijan. Oh, Arthur Smith was offensive head coach. He wasn't a good one at, at all. This one doesn't move the, either, the needle either. This doesn't move the needle. One bit. Arthur Smith is just not good. They're, you legit have all those coordinators for a freaking reason. Just hire a good head coach. Get your coordinators. You have a defensive offensive coordinator for a reason. Just get a good head coach. Not, not a defensive mind. And um, so we have some big news regarding San Francisco. Uh, 49ers wide receiver Debo Samuel will be limited at today's practice due to his shoulder injury. Per safety. They need him to beat Detroit. They they really do. He's their number one number one option, or maybe number two behind Christian McCaffrey. But they need Debo Samuel. He is probably their most important player offensively besides Christian McCaffrey. Like that dude is so good. Like after the catch, if you can't tackle him before, um, while if you can't tackle him the first hit, then he, you're you're going to give up a lot of yards. They really need. Uh, Demo Samuel, but he's that limited. But I think they're gonna limit him throughout the week. Just limit, lim, limit him in practice. And and I find it funny also that the Falcons just hired Raheem Morris because it said like an hour ago they completed a second head coaching interview today with Texans offensive coordinator Bobby Slowit. I do not see how you hire a defensive mind when you have guys like Kyle Pitts, Bijan Robinson, Drake London. And you hire a defensive mind instead of Bobby Slowick, who's a great offensive mind. I don't get it. But I mean, there's really only three, two jobs left out there. Seahawks and Commanders. Those are two options for Belichick. But I don't think the Commanders will be the the, the, the answer. 
I think he'll be a uh, Ben Johnson. Now there's two GM openings as well. So those are some of the latest openings there around the league. Because the Falcons is now already uh, already over. So former Chargers off the coordinator Kellen Moore is interviewing with the hashtag Eagles today for their offensive coordinator job per source. Moore's considering one of the top play calling candidates available. Top play calling candidates. Yeah, okay. The dude is trash. The Cowboys offense made him look like a good offensive coordinator. Most of the time he didn't know what the fuck he was doing. He was just carried by his talent. Like, Char Kellen Moore is not a good offensive coordinator, ladies and gentlemen. Hate to say it. He's just not. Uh, we have some more head coaching news from today. Some more head coaching news. Um, the Panthers are hiring Buccaneers offensive... Offensive um, coordinator, or I believe a head coach, Dave Canales as their new head coach. Or offensive coordinator, Dave Canales, excuse me, as their new head coach, per sources. Panthers have offered the job and Canales is taking it. End quote, it will get done, per source. What a rise. I was really impressed with this year with Tampa Bay, and I know with Carolina it's different, but they... He, he's come a long way, but I only ended up working with uh, David Taper. But hopefully they can make this team better. But this third team in three years. Well, he's moving his way up the ladder. Um, so hopefully he does good in Carolina. We'll just have to see. Uh, Dave Canales, the new Panthers GM, Dan Morton spent eight years together in Seattle from 2010 to 2017. Now they'll soon be reunited, leading the Panthers as their new head coach slash GM combo. I mean, some solid moves. Another coaching change for Baker. So the most valuable player finalist, with the winner being announced February 8th. Brock Purdy, Christian McCaffrey, Lamar Jackson, Josh Allen, and uh, Dak Prescott. Well, I mean, this is a regular season award. If it was from the playoffs, Dak Prescott would be a finalist, but... I, I'll have to say, um, probably Lamar Jackson. It should be uh, Christian McCaffrey, but I think it'll either be Purdy or Lamar. But I think it should be Christian McCaffrey, no, no, I mean, no, no cap. Uh, former Dolphins Thieves coordinator Vic Fangio is tra traveling to Philadelphia this morning to officially sign the contract and become the new Eagles become the Eagles' new defense coordinator. Purdy sources the Eagles officially get their man. So the Eagles have got their man as a def uh, on the defensive side of the football. And I really think this is a big move. I think you'll have that defense much better than it was last year. I really do. Uh, the hashtag Times are requesting an interview with Ravens defense back coach Denard Wilson for their defense coordinator job per source. Wilson also met with the Giants for their defense coordinator job. Uh, Denard is definitely a future defense coordinator in my opinion. Will it happen? I don't know, but I think he'll be a future defense coordinator, if not going into next season. Cowboys defense coordinator Dan Quinn's second head coaching interview with the Seahawks is scheduled for today in Seattle. Uh, did they not see that playoff game where they got destroyed? Yeah, Dan Quinn ain't no good deep, ain't the best deep coordinator. But yeah, um, we can let him go. You can go to Seattle, um, Dan Quinn. This won't be a big loss for us. This, our defense with him always collapses in big games. <laughs> so, we had some big news um, last night that dropped. Uh, breaking. Jim Harbar is leaving Michigan to accept the head coaching job with the Los Angeles Chargers. Sources tell ESPN the big story that dropped last night. The Chargers get their man while the national champions now having a head coach net with the night with while the national champions now have a head coach opening, which will probably be Sha I think what's his name? Shaheen Moore or something like that, who was an interim coach for a few games. So I think he'll be the new head coach. They have that once they get a deal done. But this this was totally not totally um Expected, he's gonna go to the Chargers. He's definitely on. The, uh, he, I know he's definitely on the Chargers, which I think it's a good move for Justin Herbert. I really do. 
but that's just my opinion. I think it'll be a good move. I'm not going to say they're going to be just as bad. I think they'll be a, a, a much better team with um, CJ Stroud. Did I say CJ Stroud? Jesus Christ. With um, Justin Herbert. And the Chargers can now play with any team they have a coach. Late now that they have a coach they can trust. I think they'll be much better than last year. I'm not going to say they'll be a playoff contender, but I think they'll be a much better team. But the new-look AFC West now. Andy Reid, Jim Harbaugh, Sean Payton, and Antonio Pierce. That's good. Uh, the AFC West with all those coaches. Three good coaches there, in my opinion. Sean Payton's a decent. But after nine years at Michigan, Jim Harbaugh's time as the head coach is over. He was 89-25, and 40-3 and in the last three years. Three straight Big Ten titles. Won the AP Coach of the Year in 2021 and the National Champion in 2023. If you make all the recruiting violations and cheating, hey, still won a championship. So, and now he returns to the NFL sidelines where he spent four years as the head coach of the San Francisco 49ers. He was, he was 44 19 and 1 during his time there with three NCAA championship game appearances and a Super Bowl appearance. So, let's see what he can do with Justin Herbert and that team. I think they can fix their problems. From Chargers quarterback to Chargers head coach, and then. The post sources, it's a five-year deal between Jim Harbaugh and the Chargers. And also the Ravens and uh, 49, the Ravens and um, Chargers are scheduled to play next year with probably be an opening week matchup. So that was the big story that dropped last night. Well, that's all for my shafty I wanted to get into. So for me and Rappaport, um... The Falcons were the only team to interview legendary coach Bill Belichick, and there are no known and there are no known scheduled interviews. P potentially, Belichick could sit out the year and wait opportunity in 2024. So there's a possibility he could um, wait till 2024. But Paul, but a terrible organization strikes again for Atlanta. The Commanders are expected to have their second in-person interview with Cowboys defense corner Dan Quinn early next week, source said. He's currently meeting the South for a second interview there, and then the Commanders will uh, as well. So, um, former LSU and current New England Patriots receiver Kayshawn Boutte was arrested today. He allegedly placed more than 8,900 bats while underage with a fake account. Sentence occurred during the 2022 season as his last at LSU. The NFL has no comment. 8,900 bats. And the NFL has no further comment. Like, 8,900 bats. That is insane. Um... So likely another year of franchise take for the Jaguars. And he said ja Josh Allen's going to be a Jaguar next year. He's come off a 17 and a half sack season. Will be a free agent. Probably might be another franchise tag. Man, there's they need to give him the bag because that dude's so underrated. <laughs> the hashtag Browns and requests an interview with Kel Moore for their offensive coordinator job in the Chargers. Or expect to let him speak to other teams. That would be a damn great for the for them there, in my opinion. Uh, Dan Pitcher has been promoted to offensive coordinator. Uh, Dan Pitcher for the um, Cincinnati Bengals. So, officially official, he's now the offensive coordinator that um, Callahan's left. Blue LeJuan says there's a formula for being Lamar Jackson that's made him throw the football. It's make him go east to west, make him throw the football. When, when are they going to learn to stop this narrative? Like, he's throwing the ball really well this year. I'll show you this narrative. Uh, per Adam Schefter, there's a real possibility Bill Belichick doesn't get a head coaching job in this cycle. He was considered the favorite for the Falcons job, but that lost momentum, but it apparently lost mo momentum over the past week. And he might not land anywhere and can sit down and wait till next year. Finals front back player of the year, DeMar Hamlin, Joe Flacco, Tua Tagovailoa, Matt Stafford, Baker Mayfield. And why is Tua here? I mean, I think it should be Baker or um, Flacco. Former Dolphins defense coordinator Vic Fangio didn't have a great relationship with some of the players on the team. So they kind of just pulled a Giannis on him. Basically, is what they did. Um, I think that's really all I want to talk about. 
Uh, Josh McDaniels will jump on to the top of the list for Patriots offense coordinator position. Bill Belichick does not get the head coach for the Falcons. I mean, he's a good offense coordinator, but not a good head coach. So I think it would be a decent move. Uh, Jaguars, the GM said there's no doubt that Trevor Lawrence will be a long-term quarterback. Man, he's bad. But it's really hard to say or something. That's my clock. Peace.